All right, first thing we need to learn in this trig unit is writing trig ratios from a right triangle. So let's start by drawing a right triangle here. Let's make this one, say, six units by uh, how many? Eight units. And then, I'm not sure if you know, but you can use the Pythagorean relationship to find that missing side. So if this is six and this is eight, so again, something you learned in earlier years is that missing side. Uh, if you know two of the sides, that is 10. So let's say we have a triangle like that. Now, if we look at it from this angle, I'm just going to call this angle, angle M, right? And we can, we can uh, look at the triangle from that point of view. Writing trig ratios, there's three primary trig ratios. One is called the sine ratio. One is called the cosine ratio. One is called the tangent ratio. And they all have abbreviations on your calculator or when you write them. So we can put that in brackets here. This one is abbreviated just SIN. This one is abbreviated COS, COS. And this one is abbreviated TAN. For this particular triangle, we can write those three ratios. They're ratios of two sides. This sine ratio here is the ratio of looking from this from this angle right here it's the ratio of the opposite side so that side over the hypotenuse all right that's the sine ratio the sine ratio is the opposite side over the hypotenuse so i'm going to write that down here just to remind ourselves that this is opposite over hypotenuse so in this case if you wanted to write what the sine ratio was if you want to write it in words, you could say the sine ratio, oops, that's not much of a T, for angle M is, and we can look at what it was, it was 6 divided by 10, right? 6 divided by 10. That sine ratio for that is 6 divided by 10. 6, I'm just going to put 6 over 10 like that, or as a decimal, 0 0.6. If you want to write it with algebraically or with, with symbols, right, instead of words, all you have to do is say sine m equals 6 tenths, or if you want to divide it, 0.6. That's the sine ratio for that. If we want to write the cosine ratio, cosine ratio isn't opposite over hypotenuse. Cosine ratio is if we're looking at the triangle from that same point of view, from this angle here, it's the adjacent side, this side, over the hypotenuse. All right, Cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse. Let's write this here. Adjacent hypotenuse. So if you're going to write it, I'm not going to write that one with words because I'm pretty sure you can imagine how. I'm going to write cos m equals 8 tenths or run out of room here, or 0.8. All right, there's the cosine ratio for that. In words, it would just be the cosine ratio for angle M is 6 tenths, or 8 tenths. Now that last one there, the tangent ratio. Tangent ratio is the only one that doesn't involve the hypotenuse. These other two here involve the hypotenuse. All right, you have, um, but you have one pair of sides left that we haven't used. We use this one, that was the sine ratio, right there. And we looked at this one, this one and this. That's the cosine ratio. And the one that's left over here is tangent ratio is the other two. It's going to be, from this angle, it's going to be that opposite side over this adjacent side. Okay, tangent is opposite over adjacent. So if you're going to write the tangent ratio for that angle, tangent ratio for angle M is 6 eighths, or if you want it as a decimal, 0.75. All right, that's, those are the three primary trig ratios for that triangle. Now, if you're going, if you're working with a triangle that has a missing side, you can still 
you can still find all this. So if we have if we have a triangle here, let's draw another one. Let's just say we have three and five. Now let's make it a bit bigger so we can see it here. Let's make it five. Let's try again for that. Let's make it five and uh, seven. How about that? Five and seven. And then of course we need our hypotenuse here. <laughs> Let's uh, stop this actually.